mold crumbling ceilings and the floor is actually caving in. That's what students and staff at Carver High School are saying that they're dealing with on a daily basis. So students use social media to bring attention to these issues. Yeah, so just a couple of hour ago, hours ago, they went before the Atlanta School Board to demand some help here. Our Savannah Levins was at that meeting and she's joining us on now live. So Savannah, what's going on out here with all of this? Yeah, so the Atlanta Board of Education right now is in the early stages of trying to figure out how to allocate about $650 million intended to improve schools. But Carver High School, which, by the way, is one of the oldest in Atlanta, was not on the short list. TikToks recently posted by students at Carver High School show concerning conditions. Students say their gym and other parts of the school, which is over 100 years old, are in desperate need of repairs. The school is full of many health hazards and it will put many of our students and staff at risk. And things like this can cause like, you know, health issues. This is dangerous. But Carver wasn't on the list of schools the board initially outlined as priorities for improvements. While 10 of millions were earmarked for renovations and expansions in neighborhoods like Fourth Ward, Kirkwood and Midtown. If you look at our neighborhoods in like around Carver, we're, we're predominantly black and it just feels like we're just forgotten. The 650.8 million would come from the one cent splost fund, the extension of which will be on November's ballot. The board saying there's still plenty of time to finalize where those funds will go. Adjustments can be made, things can be reprioritized, uh, and not only that, but it, it appears to me that there's some more immediate things that need to happen uh, to that building. So I encourage our board to lean into this moment with equitable eyes and don't just do what's easy. We have to do what's right. The students say they're hoping the board will hear them, and in the meantime, they're using social media to bolster their effort using the hashtag Carver Can't Wait. We've needed these resources for a long time for it to get to this mm -hmm. extent, and we need it now. Here tonight, an APS spokesperson told me that they're looking into ways to more ad immediately address some of these concerns. So, Jennifer, it looks like, at least for now, you know, the social media definitely doing some good for these kids and good for them. Exactly. You took the words out of my mouth. Good for them. I'm sure no parent wants their student living and learning in that type of environment. Savannah, thank you.